They helped Steven Gerrard win title 55 and once again they are being linked with their former boss to help him win trophies in Saudi Arabia. Welcome back guys to Fog Football and you know the two players that we are talking about. James Tavernier and Connor Goldson. It feels like every season, every year, every transfer window since Steven Gerrard left Rangers and ended up either... Aston Fowler in the Premier League or in Saudi Arabia with Al Etafak. He is linked with these players every single time. And now the Daily Record are reporting once again, whether it be the Daily Record, the Daily Mail, the Sun, Scottish football, it doesn't matter. Everybody is always reporting this. But once again, the Daily Record have made an article saying that Stephen Gerrard is planning on accelerating Rangers transfer raids for Tavernier and Goldson with the Saudi deadline set. So will these two end up with Steven Gerrard at Al Etafag? Well, I would say it's more likely than any time before because in the past you had Tavernier and Goldson, they were fresh off title 55, they wanted to have more success at Rangers, they wanted to win title 56, you had the European run, things were good for them, and they were still fan favourites with the majority of fans. I know Tavernier, Golden, they've always had doubters, but they were a crucial part of Gerard's success. When you look at the title 55 season, Tavernier and Goldson are definitely two of the standout players and I think that bought them a lot of love for the Rangers fans, that bought them some time and we have seen that in recent seasons neither player has been up to their best standard that they have previously set at the club and yes Tavernier has still been getting goals, he's still been getting assists but overall he hasn't really been that good over the last two seasons. Same with Connor Golds, and he's probably been worse than Tavernier. He's actually so bad that he's dropped at the starting 11 at this point. Both the guys are getting older, they're getting into their 30s. They may no longer be thinking about winning trophies and playing at a high level, and they could be thinking about cashing out and making money, and that's exactly what the move to Saudi Arabia does. Plus, it's not like they're just going there and it's going to be this like brand new experience and they don't know what they're walking into. I mean, they're going to a club that is managed by Steven Gerrard. And they were two of his favourite players. So, you know, they are going to be favoured when they go there. They would likely start. They'd likely be getting regular football and they can make a shitload of money for the next couple of seasons or however long they plan to stay there. Now... Al Rayadaya, which is a media outlet in Saudi Arabia, they are claiming that Etifag are ramping up their summer plans by preparing a move for Tavernier and Goldson, and that they hope they will tempt the light blues to sell their captain and centre back stalwart. Etifag are said to have stepped up with the duo being on Gerard's shopping list this summer. So, will they leave? Can I see? Tavernier and Goldson leaving? Possibly yes. I would say there's more chance that Goldson will leave. I think Tavernier will probably end up still in a Rangers shirt come the start of the season. I think he will end next season as a Rangers player. I still think he will actually be Rangers captain next season. As for Connor Goldson, you know, he didn't end this season very well. He got taken out the team, whether it was for injury or fitness or whatnot, you know, come the end of the season, he wasn't a starting 11 player. And will he be a starting 11 player going forward? Probably not. That's an area where Rangers definitely need to improve on. I think they need to bring in reinforcements. I mean, even when you look at all the Rangers centre-backs, none of them are really that trustworthy. Suter, I think, is good, but... <laughs> At times, he, he does look ropey. I mean, Ben Davis is never really impressed anybody. I mean, Balligan is solid, but he's got mistakes in him too. And then you have, like, Leon King, who's unproven. So Rangers definitely need to improve in that area. They de definitely need to bring in centre-backs and, and tighten up their defence. And I think I could see a Rangers team without Connor Goldson, but I'm not sure that we'll see a Rangers team in the 2024-2025 season without James Tavernier. And another man that agrees with me is Kenny Miller. 
He thinks that James Tavernier is too vital to Rangers and he thinks that he will be there. He believes that Clement is a big fan of Tav and that Tav will not only be a Rangers player but also a Rangers captain come next season. So Kenny Muller said the following, quote, after Jack Butland, the next guy I'd want to keep would be the captain, James Tavernier. Everybody knows I'm a huge fan and despite some of the criticism he has received, you can't argue with what he gives the team going forward in terms of goals and assists. He has two years left on his contract and unless a big bid comes in, I'd expect him to lead Clement's side again, end of quote. But that's the problem. With Saudi Arabia, you, you could see a big bid come in. You know, you could get paid more for Tab from a Saudi club than you would any other club in the world. Plus, with Steven Gerrard there, is it possible that he might slightly overpay? Might he throw Rangers an olive branch or something like that? I mean, it could happen. If I had to make a prediction, though, I'm not necessarily sure that Goldson will end up in Saudi Arabia, but I do believe that he will leave Rangers. I think Goldson will not be a Rangers player come the end of this summer transfer window, but I believe Tavernier will be a Rangers player, and I still think he'll be the Rangers captain. I still think that, you know, I think he's Rangers through and through, despite some of the performances he puts in. Yes, sometimes he's let the club down in the big games. He hasn't showed up, but I still think Tav loves the club. I think he can't dispute that, and I believe that he does want to win more trophies at Rangers, and I think he wants to break this Celtic dominance. I don't think Tav would be happy. If he, if he left Rangers right now with only three trophies, during his entire spell at the club, what an underachievement that would be. So I think Tav will stay, and who knows, well, I'm not saying he'll win trophies, I'm not saying he'll win the league next season, but I believe he will want to, and I believe that will keep him at the club. So, yeah, guys, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think is going to happen. I'm going to go for James Tavernier staying at Rangers, and I'm going to go for Connor Goldson leaving Rangers. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.